Tonight, police in Belton looking for the thieves who broken into more than a dozen cars just this week. Deputies are asking for specific evidence to help catch the crooks. Fox 44's Maribel Santiago live in the newsroom after speaking with some frustrated neighbors who say this is something they have dealt with before. Well, one homeowner I spoke to says those burglars broke into both of their vehicles, taking hundreds of dollars of their belongings. Now, he hopes that what they left behind could help the track the suspects down. First time it's happened before, I'm honestly frustrated. They moved everything around. iPads, tools, and cigarettes are just some of the items burglars stole from Juan Guzman's driveway early Monday morning. It looks like you left in a hurry at 4 o'clock when I woke up in the morning, and I would love to. To find you. Guzman's vehicles are two of more than a dozen hit by burglars Monday and Tuesday. The crimes happening in the Three Creek subdivision and the crooks leaving behind evidence of their own. I'm just going to have to take matters into my own hands, I guess, and uh, I found this guy's hat. Bell County deputies say most of the break ins happened between midnight and 3 30 a.m., targeting cars on Averick Avenue, Cicero, and Dolphin Street. Now they're asking neighbors to review their cameras and come forward. You got to do something. If you don't want nobody to break in your vehicle, lock it. Gary Koss says he kept his car out of sight and tightened up on security. I got two big dogs, <laughs> and I put out light, you know, lights out here that are solar. We're really sick of it. All the neighbors are getting cameras. All the neighbors are getting their guns loaded. Homeowners with this message to those targeting their homes. If you, you could have just knocked on the door, I would have gave you a job. Uh, you could have. Honestly, ask for money or anything, man. You went through our cars and stole a bunch of petty items. To these people, get a job. Do the right thing. <laughs> Stay out of my neighborhood. Now, Guzman says that he has cameras in his home, but after what happened this week, he plans on adding more cameras to prevent this from happening. Now, coming up at 9.30, we'll tell you why neighbors believe their subdivision is being targeted. Live in the newsroom, Maribel Santiago, Fox 44 News.